of guys a minute work early and starting to work on this uh, frame. First thing I've got to do is make a little bracket underneath the seat so I can sit on here and work out what I need to do with the top hoop. So I bent this hoop up here for the front bumper, but I'm not happy with it because it's too low. The bars aren't going to go around my feet. I was going to fold up a new one, but what I might do is just cut it and uh, fold up another hoop for the top part. So since I've got to join this pipe now, uh, I'm going to take a bit of 20 MB and machine it down so I can use it as a spigot for inside the joins. Folded up that front hoop. I'm pretty happy with how that's sitting. Next thing I've got to do is just run some pipes from here to there with a swipe beam for the uh, sidebars. Okay, so I've got these two bars, these two side bars tacked in, and it feels pretty good about here. So I'm not sure what to start on yet, I might put a few smaller cross braces in. Okay, I'm going to roll up a hoop for the steering wheel and some uh, controls. As you can see, I enjoy making the frame crooked, so I get to do it twice, so I'll just fix that now.
So where I'm up to now is working on this frame. Uh, yesterday I put these two side rails in on a diagonal, but I forgot to film it, forgot to bring my camera in. I don't really want to do too much more on this until I've got the A-arms in and that, so I know where to put the rest of the bracing. So what I've got here are hubs and stubs off a trailer, but it, the axle, as you can see, was pretty bad condition. So I got that on a discount, 100% discount actually. Okay, so I finally ground all the box section off these hubs, which is a horrible job. It was plug welded on every side. I'm glad that's over with. Um, I'm starting to set this up now with the hub in here so I can make the spindles. I think that's what they're called. Uh, my boss just gave me this one to look at off a, a stock car, saloon car, sorry. And I'm gonna copy a little bit of the geometry of this thing. Okay, as you can see, if you hold the axle straight, it's got a, a spindle on as an angle. I think he said seven degrees. And this is kind of what I want, want to come up with. Uh, this is sort of how a trophy truck one works. What you want is when the wheel to come up is not to go straight up, but come up and curve a little bit so that when you roll over, you've got a bit more negative camber. So I'm going to cut some steel and start making this up. I might sort of Make it from about there to there. Okay, so I cut that and uh, got my seven degrees there and it should just sort of clear the tire up here, even when I put a wider tire on. So what I should have actually done is just tried to cut this straight and it would have ended up seven degrees crooked anyway. So that's how you can do that easily. So I'm kind of happy how that's sitting now. Remember to always to bear your edges after you cut yourself, of course. So I'm back home now. I've been drawing up on the computer. For those who haven't been watching the other videos, uh, I'm going to use a TL1000 motor. And it's going to take up pretty much the whole back half here. And I've been drawing up the front suspension. So this is what the front suspension is going to look like. I even drew a spring, pretty proud of myself about that actually. So I'm going to have it on quite a steep angle so you get more travel for a smaller spring. And I might use uh, four drive tyres for the front tyres. So it's going to be strictly off-road, non-tilting. Uh, might be a little bit higher than I've got drawn here. Oh well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video and uh, leave a comment and subscribe.